hello guys this is ms gaming mff well this video is uh, mainly for my channel purpose not for the players i mean yeah there is something there is some information for the players but most of the video i mean maximum part of this video is for my channel purpose and not for uh, any kind of tips for the players or any kind of guidance or something like that okay so at first uh, I want to talk about the custom years okay the new players and some of the players who are playing four or five months something like this they asked uh, how to get a proc obelisk what is a proc obelisk well I don't know the definition or the full form of proc uh, <laughs> I just heard it like you guys okay so the thing is that uh, two kind of proc obelisk are in this game. One is increased damage, basic damage dealt by 200% and the other one is invincible of 5 seconds, 4 seconds or etc. Okay. And the 200% uh, damage increase thing works for PvE and the invincible is obviously for PvP. And the rest of the obelisk with this kind of effect like activation at 20% when hit, physical attack of 90%, physical damage, blah blah blah, whatever. Okay, these are uh, not good or I can say you guys shouldn't use these in a character, okay? So how to, uh, I mean which obelisk you should equip on a character. For that you need to check if the character is proc friendly or not even not proc friendly but uh, you want to give him a proc because you don't have a ctp then you need to check the uh, stats okay like if you have a low in crit damage then you are gonna equip a crit damage uh, custom gear or i can say obelisk and if you are short in crit rate then you can go for that and how to get a proc obelisk well select a obelisk which uh, doesn't have a proc then there is two method okay and this is the first one you can just choose a obelisk which doesn't have a proc or which is not useful then change the options and if you're lucky you can get a proc like i get okay it's 140 percent though it's not good but it's just fine and then another method you need to do extreme boost obelisk okay you need to convert your six star uh, obelisk to those and then you can just check the change auto options okay then you will select uh, this extreme boost obelisk and after that you can just choose what you want okay like i want uh, almost 40 percent i mean 30 to 40 percent of free damage then i can choose this dash also okay like i want the dodge dodge is good the guard break immunity is good the ignore dodge the crit rate crit damage is good even ignore defense good if it is for hog then you can choose max hp and nothing else but that okay the rest of the options are not good then you can just select these options though even the one that you uh, need okay and then for here if it is a pvp obelisk then you are going to go for the invincible five seconds okay and don't uh, check i mean don't select from the top okay because it will select the three, four seconds and five seconds, all of the options. You need the five seconds. When max HP is below 50%, applies to self and the 5% invincible, okay? You want that. And for the PVE, you will go for the 200%. Again, don't uh, select from the top. Just, uh, as you can see in the bottom, there is five options selected, but you don't want the five options. Just click on that options thing and then you uncheck uh, these and only 180% and 200% uh, damage increase is good for a character. Then you will see that only two options are selected. Okay, then you will click on the gold thing and if you are lucky then you are going to get the proc. Okay, see I got lucky. I got the 200% damage increase proc. So this is how you uh, turn an obelisk into a proc obelisk and then equip in a character that you want. And for the uh, convert thing, 
I would recommend convert those obelisk with the mind damage, lightning resist, or the rest of the stats, okay, which are not good. And the same thing goes for the CTP. You can just change their options like this to method. As you can see, this is lightning resist. Well, this is not good, and you're gonna just convert it. You can convert it, and I generally convert these things into extreme boost obelisk so that uh, my inventory is, is empty for me the same thing goes for the mighty ctps you can change the options for mighty ctps also with six star obelisk but not for the brilliant ones for a brilliant uh, to change uh, option for brilliant ctp then you need another ctp okay now let's uh, come to cards so there are two deck now and this is my card set and I'm going to open the second deck in Black Friday event. So this is my set and it is a hybrid set. I want a full PVE set now. So I will open the second deck and yeah, this Black Panther has tag 166 and Luna so card is good for PVE. I'm working on them and then I'm going to equip them in my second deck. So this is how you uh, craft a card, okay? If you're a new player, then this is useful for you. You need five of the mythic, normal mythic cards to uh, craft uh, one star only of a premium card. If you get the blue star, then you are lucky, or I can say it is good. And the red and green star is not that much good. I need to uh, reroll this card because the stats are not good and i didn't uh, re-roll this before so uh, let me show you how to re-roll a card okay how to change the fixed stat of a card so if you click on combine this combine is for changing the fixed stats okay and this craft combine is to change the color of the crafted stars uh, if i just click on combine and then craft combine and use a premium card then and lock the rest of the blue stars then the last star stats will be changed for me okay but i won't do it because black friday is coming and i have only 3k of crystals and the one star uh, cards well i will recommend to destroy those even the two stars because it will waste a lot of golds for you of your uh, it will waste a lot of gold of yours so um, i recommend upgrade from three stars or you can go for the two stars but never upgrade the one star cards that's all for cards now let's go to the artifact okay the same thing goes for the artifact uh dismantle the one star and two star artifacts and keep only the three star random or the specific character uh, artifacts okay you can you can get uh, these specific character artifacts uh, from the shop with the celestial essence also uh, let me show you guys i will go to the shop and i will show you how to get so so you can get it from here and uh, open this 250 celestial essence chest you will get 10 of the artifacts and don't forget to uh, dismantle the one star and two star automatically because this will save your time and yeah we can get artifacts from here so today i got mbaku's uh, five star artifact though i don't have mta2 but yeah i got artifact okay so you can just uh, get artifacts from there and that for the stats i really recommend to the damage dealt to enemies with pure evil effect and the peers damage uh, decrease by 6%, 7%, etc. I recommend to keep these and dismantle the rest of the artifacts. And for these uh, specific characters, you need to put them into the character, which icon you will see on the artifact. And you can change the stat of artifact. If it is four star and above, need another four star artifact for that well i have this uh, extra four star artifact so i will just change the option because the gore's uh, 
instinct is destruction, but this artifact has cruelty. Oh no, I get cruelty again. Never mind, I will try again later when I will get a four star artifact and I don't uh, need that one. Okay, as you can see, I have uh, screams another three star artifact, that is why I just uh, wasted it or I can say destroyed it. Now, let's talk about the ISO 8 set. Well, uh, these uh, six star maxed out ISO 8s are good for a character, and how to change or which set is good for a character or any character in the game let me just show you okay well i think better rebels uh, so it is not set here yes now let me show you guys so uh you select the auto set change option and this three set hook is i power of energy hulk and overdrive these three set are best for all of the characters in the game and what I do is I just put this, it goes continuously and well, it takes a lot of gold, but this is the way I do it. So I'm not getting it. Uh, let me just stop it here. And yeah, I just wanted to show you the thing that only this three set are good for any of the characters. And there is no recommendations that you need Power of Energy Hulk for this character, that character, nothing like that. Any of these three will work. Because uh, this three set has the 40% uh, proc thing. Let me show you if I go to Thor. And if you just equip all the max ISOs or if you max uh, the ISOs later, like this one, I have the last star empty and i mean the last star is not red then you can just make it red like this you can just upgrade it to max and the another thing you need to look before equipping a iso that if the character is energy attack or physical attack and you can also change the options for iso also like this and yes then what i want to say is that oh yeah i forgot uh, that you need to look for if the character is physical attack or energy attack because this iso has energy attack and physical attack all of the isos are not all attack all attack is for all characters it doesn't matter but some of the iso has the energy attack and physical attack so you need to look if the character is physical attack or energy attack before equipping uh iso okay uh, if you can see then Moon Knight is a physical attack character then what I will do I have to do or you guys have to do is equip all attack ISO or a physical attack ISO like this uh, let me show you one ISO that I have a physical attack here well yeah this one physical attack and HP so you need to look uh, for the character if he or she is physical attack or energy attack and I want to say destroy your 1 star, 2 star, even 3 star ISO because again it will, if you upgrade those then your goals will be a waste. Okay, It will be a waste of your goals, nothing else but that. As you can see I kept only the 5 star ISO 8, I even destroyed the 4 stars. Now let's talk about the Urus. Well, many people are confused about Urus. They keep wrong Urus on character and then just cry like my character is not doing damage or something like that. So the same thing I will say about Urus. Destroy your 1 star or even your 2 star Urus and don't upgrade them. I kept the 2 star Urus because I think they are needed. Okay, And the lock the useful Urus. Those energy defense and physical defense rules are not good. If you get six star, then keep them because we get an event. If we combine the six stars, then we have a chance to get uh, Odin's blessings. Well, uh, for Urus, how to equip Urus on a character? Well, for that, you need to look for the character is physical attack or energy attack. You can check it in the skills also, as you can see. Her skill is physical attack based, so what we're going to do is equip two physical attack Urus on every slot. And after that, uh, we need to look for the details, I mean the stats. 
will check the stats after you equip her or purchase her uniform then upgrade the uniform then equip the a CTP or obelisk whatever you want to equip equip ISO 8 and after that look for the details which the stats are not capped and then amplify your Uru slots how to amplify will use uh, this 10 time amplify thing and if you get uh, four slots amplified even or five slots then uh, it's good and then you can just uh, equip your urus as you can see i equipped uh, uh, attack speed uru and the attack speed is capped so you need to look for the details like this and then equip urus so the another thing you need to look before equipping a uh, uru is that if the character has some buffs like if i go click on moon knight's fifth skill then he has a skill buff that gives him 15 percent of crit rate so if moon knight's uh, crit rate is not capped then it's fine because the skill will cap it okay so you don't really need to cap out uh, moon knight's crit rate i mean the 60 percent would be fine then you will get 15 percent from uh, his fifth skill and it will be kept automatically now let's talk about the november update sneak peek hashtag 5 so we're getting captain america a new uniform for him and as well as a tier 4 for him well this is really very unexpected i mean we're all hoping for t'challa black panther tier 4 but unfortunately uh, this game i don't know why but they're giving a uh, captain america tier 4 well it's fine <laughs> never mind well i'm not hyped for this update because black Friday is coming, so I don't want to use any kind of crystals. Well, if I talk about Captain America, well, I think he has the most uniforms in this game. Okay, no other character has this much uniform as he has, I think. But no uniform is good. Well, only this uh, Phoenix Force uniform is good. And I think the new uniform will obviously be good for him. So with this Hydra Supreme uniform, he has the Cosmic Cube uh, ability also, and he is a Blast Villain. So yeah, it will be interesting to see if he can do something in ABL, a Blast a Villain Day, because we don't have that much character in that category. Only Mephisto and Tier 4 Iron Man with the Villain uniform. And Mysterio, well, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk about him. So let me uh, show you guys the build. You can just see the build that I have in Captain America now. Then I will just uh, take him to World Boss Legend, Null and Mephisto. And I want to show you guys if he can clear with this trash build, Null and Mephisto Stage 1. Okay.
we cleared those two stages okay fine now let's talk about the black friday countdown check-in event all the check-in rewards are same as before no nothing new no changes it is the same and we're getting we'll get a transcendence selector and we have 18 characters there now let me uh give you guys an idea which uh, character you would like to choose i mean a kind of a ranking okay so these are the 18 characters uh that will be on the selector so at first the first rank i will give is to moon knight because he's a tier 4 character and this uniform is better than the previous one i think so because it's a, the new one and yeah, he is good in WBL and ABX and the rest of the game modes. Not in PvP, obviously. And then in the second place, I will put Dr. Octopus. He is a combat villain. I mean, before Hulk, I used to use Dr. Octopus in ABX and he also can do World Boss Legend. And in the third place, I will put Sif. She is a leader and also a support for characters who are used in world boss legend gpr and the rest of the thing so let me show you guys in her leadership with the new uniform she gives a uh, 30 percent of max hp and also 35 percent of physical attack which is uh, really very really good and again uh if i just check her uniform bonus i think it is in her uniform bonus then yeah she will give increased basic damage dealt to boss types by 45 percent that is why i want to put sif here and i think many people will uh, pick up sif from the selector but i already have her uh, awakened so in the fourth place i will put red guardian uh one of the reason is because he is combat villain and he gives 30% 35% actually yeah 35% of hp increase in hp which is good for hulk so you can use a lead for hulk and he can do some damage yeah and the for fifth place i will put this girl elsa bloodstone well she gives a physical attack lead that is why i'm just putting her here and i think many of you guys will pick her also because we don't have that much physical lead in the game yeah and in the sixth place i will put um, lucas i guess because he is good in pvp um still now he's good in pvp with the latest uniform well because i see some look cage in pvp nowadays uh but though um yeah we have better characters in pvp but yeah he's still good so that is why i am just putting him there nothing else but that so these six uh, characters are just good and the rest of the characters who will be in the selector will not be good and if you force me then i can just put medusa at the seventh place because with her new uniform she gives 45 percent of i mean damage dealt and again to the universal types it will be 45 percent of all attack though that passive of 45 percent damage dealt won't work for all characters it is for only inhuman characters i mean black bolt especially so without uniform she will give universal types 36 percent of all attack which is not that much bad and the rest of the characters mm -mm. well i don't think they're that much good Hemdel has a uniform but yeah i don't see him anywhere yeah he is a alliance conquest character Silk also has a uniform, but this is a paywall uniform and it is a summer uniform, so nope. And Hulk, Amadeus Joe, well, yeah, his uniform is very, very old and it's not useful. The same thing goes for Red Skull. This uniform is, I don't know how many years old, okay, I have no idea. So, yeah, not good. 
again spider gwen well she was good but not now he mentors i used to use him before but now he's out of the meta next uh, we have shadow shell she doesn't have a uniform well she's good you, know, you can pick her and again what tiger these are just shadowland and ac characters same thing goes for iron fist with the team up or with luke cage is good in alliance conquest nothing else but that and yeah bullseye this is a speed villain uniform but we have better speed villain especially the f2p can get a green goblin so yeah not good then we have um home oh, i guess everyone is done so yeah jessica jones is left well the same thing goes for jessica jones okay now let me talk about some uh crystal wall characters because black friday is coming be ready to get some uniforms and some uh, crystal wall characters well, i selected this four well uniforms but i'm not sure about this one and also for the emma frost uniform yeah i need to just change my list i think but later let me talk about the crystal wall characters now so at first you can pick up um, adam warlock if you have that much crystals is good is still good in pvp then you have mystique amazing support you can also pick her up from there and then give her a mega tier ticket she gives i think 40 percent for damage dealt to villain and 45 percent damage dealt to superhero types this is good for world boss legend and the rest of the game mode also and then we have silver surfer well we can get him from gbr galactus so no need to use crystals on him the same thing goes for dormammu we can get him from gbr well i got him from gbr i didn't spend any kind of crystals well then we have this old guy odin well he is old and he's actually old he has a uniform but it is old and yeah i don't really see odin anywhere in the game so let's check the rest of the characters which are in the shop we have the iceman well he's good you can use him in abl world boss legend gbr the uniform that he got it is it was good but it was seasonal i think it's gone then we have blue dragon well, she has a tier 4 if you want then you can just pick her up um, I mean, if you like her, then you have the Diamond Queen Emma Frost. Well, I'm going to pick her in this Black Friday because I have her three-star artifact. I got it from ABL, though it is a three-star, but I got her artifact, okay? So I'm going to purchase her uh, this time around. Then we have um, this guy, what his name is? I don't know. I forgot. Never mind, he's not good. And... You guys really don't want to pick him up. Now, let's talk about this event quest. So we have a premium card chest here. You can just pick up a premium card if you want. Well, I might have picked a premium card, but as I've said, I'm going to purchase Emma Frost. So I need a Mega Tier 2 ticket for her. So I'm going to go for the Mega Tier 2. Then we have the CTP chest. It's a random one. If you are lucky, then you can get a Reg, Judgment, or any other good CTP, or you can even get the Eggs, okay? Then we have the Mega Tier 2 ticket. Well, I'll pick it up. You guys can pick it up. You guys can also go for the Artifact. There are some good Artifacts, the Gore Artifact, and yeah, the rest of the Artifacts. If you want any, then you can just go for them. And then we have... And this special icon well if you don't need any kind of those stuff then you can go for the icon thing and as well as for the rank up tickets you can pick them also and the rest of the rewards well i don't see anything good well uh after picking those premium card or mega tier 2 50 tokens will be left then you can pick the uniform upgrade chips or the energy well 
a uh, gold special store is open you can pick 60 bios bio selector from here and you can just put them in your inbox and use them later you can uh, open this chest if you are lucky then you can get a six star mega rank up ticket well i never got this i don't know who got this i i really don't know you can also pick bam and known stone of chaos if you want or you can also purchase the energy with some golds which is really really good then i want to say that don't purchase any kind of um, deluxe pack or i can say epic quest pack with your crystals i mean this is deluxe or i have purchased this uh yeah there are deluxe packs so don't purchase these because Black Friday is for uniforms, for discounts, and no discounts on these packs, so leave it. As well as uh, don't purchase the legendary battles. Even if you need a CTP selector, I would like to say don't purchase any kind of legendary battles in Black Friday. Because we can just pick a lot of uniforms or purchase... Uh, crystal world characters we can gamble for ctp you know well there are a lot of uniforms in here uh, that you can pick well i'll make a list i'll make a video on it before black friday uh uniform discount event starts so stay tuned for that i will uh, recommend some uniforms that you can pick that you should pick and the uh, ones you shouldn't pick as you can see, I have favorited these four uniforms. Well, again, I think I should leave the Emma Frost and Storm's uniform. Well, I want Storm's uniform because of the ABL requirement of uh, Blast uh, Female Mutant. That is it. Nothing else but that. So that's all for now. Well, I don't want to speak much more now. And the rest of the video will be just... Shadowland clear as I have said this video is for my channel purpose